You're watching the 2022 Geico ESPN High School Football Showcase presented by Axe. The guys in this game that are freshmen in high school don't know a world with Southwest Florida teams being on national TV for the first time ever. Lehigh High School hosts a game on ESPN facing off against Lake Gibson here in the Fort Myers suburbs. So glad to be with you, Craig Hobart, Connor Onion. And uh, we've got one big time star in this game tonight. It's in the backfield for Lehigh, fittingly known as the Lightning after several Lightning delays. <laughs> Richard Young, he's committed to Alabama. Yeah, he is a workhorse back with big playability, and that is why he's been able to establish himself as the number one ranked running back in the nation. He's got explosive lateral movement to be able to make defenders miss. Tremendous explosiveness. Once he sees a seam, he could hit it and get to top end speed very quickly. He also runs with great power and balance to be able to break arm tackles, make yards after contact. And a part of his game, Connor, that's still coming along is as a receiver out of the backfield, which I think we'll see him play a little bit of a role with that tonight. He has no problem bruising you and getting out into open space. Maybe we'll see that at the wide receiver spot tonight. There are the measurables, some of the info on Richard Young. Of course, he'll be running behind a big offensive line. That's the big key for Lake Gibson. They've got a former NFL offensive lineman as their offensive coordinator. Yeah, Lake Gibson wants that offense to take on the mold of their head coach, Rich Pringle, who's a retired Marine, and Mike McGlynn, who was an NFL offensive lineman. It all starts with the big boys up front. Richard Young may be the big name in this game tonight, but for Lake Gibson, they want to establish a power run game themselves. And Craig, check out the numbers on some of those guys up front for Lake Gibson. That is, uh, you know, power five and college type size that their backs will run behind. Yeah, that's a big offensive line for the high school level. It's all going to start with them. They've got a big back, some big play players as well in their offensive side of the ball. But it all, they always say games are won and lost in the trenches. And that's what Lake Gibson is looking for tonight with those big boys up front. He has a, you know, look, you look at his frame and there's still room to continue to fill out once he kind of gets in that Alabama weight program. But he is a powerful young man. He's got... Andre Jocelyn, who plays both ways in the backfield with him. He's leading the way on second and five, showing off the speed, hitting the sideline. Richard Young with his first big play of the night, and he is gone into the end zone for a touchdown. 90 big ones for Young. Implementing a game plan to take Richard Young out of it is easier said than done, as we see here right out the gate. That Lehigh defense got pushed back. They did not break. They got the football back to their offense, and then their big-time playmaker, the number one ranked running back in the nation, Richard Young, takes it 90 yards to the house. Another one on third down. They converted twice on their opening drive. He fires, and he's got it in there complete. A bullet for a first down. Out to Stacy for Graham Akins and this Lake Gibson offense. If you weren't with us before, they were very confident that they can move the ball tonight. And back to the air and another shot in there to the sideline that's complete. And that's the receiving tight end, Landell Lockett. Curl so fourth and one. And their place kicker will not go in the first quarter tonight. So another fourth down chance. Aikens fakes, now gets it out, and he's got the first down, out to his back, and fighting to the end zone, that ball is out, and Lake Gibson thinks they got on top of it. They didn't, Lehigh got it. A turnover in the end zone, and the Lightning with another red zone stop. It's Jeremy Ware recovering the fumble. Well, low snap, Aikens picks it up, taking a shot, end zone touchdown. They go over the top to Gasts. No red zone trip needed for their first points of the night. Let's just cut out the middle, man. Let's <laughs> pick up the yard. Let's just go straight for the end zone. Tyson Gass, who was their leading receiver a year ago, had two drops early on. But with a nice route here, wide open. Jackson Aikens put it right on him. Taking advantage of the, you could just use your athleticism, but now it's in high school, not like no college, um, college ball. You're gonna have to play technique and all that. So learning, just learning a new technique. At, that was the new phase for me. Um, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm a big corner at that point. Oh, Sam, we put you on. We got a big play breaking out for Tyson Gaston, another touchdown. 
Let's go, let's go, baby. I like it. One to make the late Gibson guy proud. 69 yards for the touchdown. Tyson Gast to put the Braves up. Thanks. Tyson was a part of that offensive attack a year ago that included you playing receiver as well. But Tyson actually led the team in receptions. What makes him so special, Sam? Um, just know he's a special guy. Everybody slept on him. You um, know what I'm saying? Being him behind me that I had a big image on. But when I got hurt coming in out of that Lions game, that he could show it he could really play in that college level. No, that's saying he could play in that inside, outside. He has a great, you know, he's like dropped two balls earlier. I had to tell him to get him, get his hair right. You know what I'm saying? You know about the American Heritage, too, and Aikens made a ton of good throws. We put on tape last week. Uh, already one fourth down converted on this drive. Aikens with a collapsing pocket. He swung down. Tyree Cunningham with the linebacker pressure, forcing the turnover. They brought the senior on pressure, timed it up really nicely. You're going to see number 34 coming inside. Really didn't give Aikens much time to get himself set. Well executed with the pressure from the defender that many of his teammates feel is the most underrated player on this team. It gives him the Matumbo on the way off. 14 sacks a year ago, notching one there. Last couple drives, I got to think he's going to touch the ball here. Uh, start trying to feed him a little bit more. Four-star running back committed to Alabama. Does get a touch, and it's blown up. Oh, man, penetration right up the middle again, and T.J. Lane tears down the four-star. T.J. Lane is also their starting center. You see him just bust through the double team. Talked about a little bit ago, pad level. He was low, exploded through. Two blockers, ugly the big man, just finding his way through, meeting Young as soon as he got the football. For Lehigh, they've punted on four straight possessions since. And Ridley into the hands of Lopez, dropped ball, and a wrestle for it. Lehigh might have it inside the five. And they do. Lightning football, first and goal. I mentioned a little earlier some of the struggles that Lehigh has had on special teams early in his 2022 season, but here creating a big play. See, going back, usually you want your, your punt returner there just to put his heels on the 10. If the ball goes over, let it go. Tries to field it, pops loose. Lehigh able to recover. Well, in basketball, that's that's a jump ball at the scores table. We're checking the possession arrow. Back in the country, first down, no. Second down, no. And they go inside on the direct snap for a touchdown to Blue. It was all a smoke screen with Young. Inside direct snap, touchdown, Gerald Blue. Well, using Young as a decoy, snapped underneath. You can see the one defender working upfield, trying to go and attack, attack number nine. Snap at the blue, he's able to push it in. So Maldonado out to try the PAT after the blue touchdown. Guy that they can line up in a lot of different places. Lining him up in front of the true back, and Maldonado ties the game. So I think everybody in the stadium thought that that ball was going to Young, and he was going to try to push through for one yard, but it's Blue that sneaks in. Season heading into this game. Well, even with all the attention on him, still gaining yards, and into the second level. Shoulder pads down, and across midfield with a first down for Richard Young. That offensive line anchored by the FIU commit, Shaheem Buchanan, doing a nice job creating seams. You see right up the middle. A lot of green there. Be able to get to the second level, lower his shoulder, trying to fight through tackles. Well, he made the feet Got him a couple of times. Fourth down and one. And they give it to Young. And there's Sturdy back. Gets one and a lot more. He's got a first down, but the ball came out. And Lake Gibson running off like they've got it. And Tristan Ban was the first one there, forcing the fumble. And came up with it, too. So Young got enough for the first down into open space and turns it over. They were 
were able to get off tackle with Young here. He's able to pick up the first down. Looks like he hit his own teammate as the ball popped out. The slot. Well, off of the run fake. Aikens backpedaling. Throws over the middle. He's got gassed again. Big play on third down for a first down and more into Lehigh territory. Oh. This drive powered by Dill. Here's Young bouncing outside, seeking that edge into the end zone. Touchdown. Pickle juice power for six. Richard Young. Young. Well, they give it to him straight ahead. That much confidence in him. He uses a stiff arm to get a first down. Third and 13, no problem. Shame on me for trying to scheme up different ways. Just give it to him. You know, more than running back in the nation. Just give it to him. Young. They have combined for 500 yards of offense tonight. Well, coming into tonight, we knew Richard Young was a playmaker. And he's right out the gate. He certainly showed that with the 90 yard touchdown run. Tyson Gass, not as much fanfare, only a Rhode Island offer reported, but tonight he has gone off and been the explosive aspect of that Lake Gibson offensive attack, making several plays through the air, over 200 yards receiving, but Richard Young would counter. Once again, showing why he's a top back in the nation, getting to the edge and punching it in, but Gass would say, hey, whatever you can do, I could do better, just a little bit different. You're on the ground, I'm through the air, all tied up. And that's the story of the game. Two guys, but also, like you mentioned, how they're doing it. For Lake Gibson, it's been all a stop on third down and three. Mallory swings it out. They got it to Smith, who they've used out of the backfield in this fourth quarter. He's not stopping after the first down. Deep into Lake Gibson territory, but a flag is down. They're not going away from it. Young sees the seam open up, and it closes fast down at the five. Jaden Williams after these rounds here. Mallory, design quarterback run, end zone, touchdown! Lehigh back in front. Combination of blue and young get him down here, but it's a sophomore quarterback Mallory who keeps it takes it in himself I'm on this down yeah, I mean, he's been able to get behind the defense as we see right here Everybody's just trailing him and then once again all alone down the sideline his ability to kind of make that defense pay Sam McCall the Florida State Defensive back happy with that and once again breaking loose. So can gas do Smith back in motion. No doubt it's going to Young. And through the car wash. And dropped after a couple. And Lake Gibson will stop the clock. And use their final timeout. So last chance to stop it for Lake Gibson. First down for Young. Nearly closed it. Richard Young has gone for over 200 yards and a couple of scores. It has not been an easy start to the 2022 season for Richard Young. Really, teams have loaded the box, tried to take him away. They came into this game 0-2, but early on he had that 90-yard run. At times, he was hitting the backfield. Wasn't always easy, but really showed a lot of fight, a lot of tough running, and he's made some big plays, and ultimately closing in here a 300-yard effort. We'll throw a, a gritty on top of that with the dance moves. Over 30 carries to get to close to 300 yards, too. He's our Geico player of the game. He's a workhorse back with big playability. And... Will he play right away at Alabama? Has clinched it. 
The Lehigh's getting their first win on the back of Richard Young. And to answer your question, remember, Najee Harris didn't play right away. Just if you do not go there and play right away, that doesn't mean anything. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of development time for Richard Young once he gets there. One of the things I watch on film, if you notice tonight, he always carries the ball in his right hand. Never switches it to the outside hand. Coach talked about him continuing. One of the things we asked Coach Chaney, what does Richard Young need to continue to work on? He says he needs to continue to work on his flexibility as well. So there's some things to be able to develop on, but you see the effort that he put forth tonight, a workhorse effort with big plays. He really helped carry this team that was unable to make plays through the air. They put it on his back, the number one rake running back in the nation, delivered and got Lehigh their first win on the season. The present and obviously the future. Very bright in Tuscaloosa with Richard Young on his way. 285 yards, couple of scores. He broke this game open with a touchdown off the jump with 90 yards on the second play of the game. For Craig Hubbard, Connor Rodney, and our great crew back in the truck, led by Russ and Brett, we say so long from Fort Myers. A winner for Lehigh. They beat Lake Gibson by six.